I finally have a new Kairoshin list to talk about for you guys, because anytime Kairoshin Leviathan comes out, it doesn't stick around for very long, but it is a very unique water strategy. And it looks like we got more Dynamorphia shenanigans as well. Welcome back to 30% of you guys have not smashed the crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so we can get to 100 in five thousand. Welcome to OCG Roundup this week. We get to talk about while this card having Umi phase up on the field is a crazy floodgate because each player can only control one face up non water monster, um, which is just crazy. And then it gets the ability to add Umi Kyra or a Kyrushin spell card or a Sea Stealth spell and trap card from your deck to your hand. So this card literally searches for a dodge mobility. Uh, the ability to search for some really stupid stuff, aka Torrential Tribute, and whatnot. So we have triple copies of Ash of Blossom, Enjoy a Spring. We're playing only one copy of Doom Kraken, which I think is fine. Uh, we have one Gamma Seal, one copy of Tremora for extending out from the hand. Triple copies of the Kyrish and Leviathan, which is just a generic Floodgate win con against the opponent. We have two Maxi. We also have one Mega Fortress Whale here. So if Umi's on the field, you can activate this effect. Your water monster can attack directly this turn, and during your opponent's battle phase, quick effect, you can target one face of monster they control, destroy it. If this card on the field be destroyed by a battle card effect, you can take one water warrior monster from your deck or graveyard and either add it to your hand or special summon it. Um, remember, water warrior monster. Too bad this doesn't meet the bill because it's a water aqua. We have triple copies of Fasalius here. This is going to actually be our negate uh, to troll the opponent. <laughs> God, this, this thing being a negate is hilarious. We have two Warrior of Atlantis. We have triple copies of Legendary Ocean. Two copies of Called by the Grave. Triple Fish Sonar. Triple Foolish Burial Goods. One Fury. One Harpy's Feather Duster. Triple Pot of Extract. Two Prosperity. One Sea Stealth Attack. Two copies of Ice Barrier. We have tr two copies of Sea Stealth Attack. Triple copies of Storming Mirror Force. Two Torrential Tribute. And one emptiness. Down here in the extra deck, we have two coral anemone, one phoenix with one Cerberus. We have one totally awesome, one utopic future with one utopic future Draco, one hope harbinger, one leviathan, one black armor ray lancer, one exiton knight, one castell, two bombard sharks, and one abyss dweller. Side deck here, we have one pankertops, triple droll, two ragaki, two twin twisters, triple ice dragon's prisons, triple imperm, and one copy of red reboot here, wrapping up water. Now, we got some Dynamorphia shenanigans in here. Now, this is actually a little bit more standardized for Dynamorphia um, because we're playing the Alistair package. Now, I'm not too sure how I feel about this. I think this is, like, I guess a cute little way to kind of explore this deck and mess around with, but this feels um, a little bit, I guess, bulkier for things because I, I guess, like, your main value, obviously, is going to be Makaba in this build. Versus like playing the Zark Trap cards for like the more standardized build for Dynamorphia, but all right. So we have triple copies of Alistair, the Invoker. Triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. Triple copies of Thursia. We have triple copies of Effect Veiler with one Ghost Bell. We have one Ghost Mourner. Triple copies of Maxi. Two Call by the Grave. One Cross Out Designator with one Droplet. We have two copies of Invocation. Two copies of Magical Meltdown with two Prosperity. One Terraforming. Triple copies of Frenzy, triple copies of Imperm, triple copies of Psalm Strike, two copies of Trap Trick, and one copy of Vanity's Emptiness here. Down here in the extra deck, we have one Almirage, one Unicorn with one D Hark, one Artemis, one copy of Omega, one Draco Stapelia, one Purgatrio, two Macaba, one Kaliga with one Aguides, two copies of the Stealth Briga, and then of course one copy of Rexstrom, and one Kingrina. Side deck here, we have Triple Draw and Lockbird, two copies of Retaliating Sea. Triple copies of Cosmic Cyclone, one Forbidden Droplet, one Harpy's Feather Duster, two copies of Super Polymerization, two Anti Spell Fragrance, and one Dimensional Barrier here. Wrapping up Invoked Dinomorphia. This is such an interesting deck. I wonder if we could see anything like this here in the TCG. Next up, oh boy. So, man, Thursia back at it again here, ladies and gentlemen. I guess this time. We wanted to play a branded package with Thursia, because I guess cool thing is you still get all of your special summons. This guy being a generic Floodgate monster to power down everything and force the opponent to not be able to activate effects is such an insanely powerful effect, and it really is no fun to play against him, to be honest with you. For as much as I've played Dynamorphia, this card is amazing. So we have one Ablidium, triple copies of Aluber, 
We have triple copies of Asher Blossom and Joy Spring. We have one comedy with one tragedy. We have triple copies of Thursia, two copies of Effect Baylor, two copies of Fallen of Albaz, one Ghost of Bell, triple copies of Maxi, gotta love the draw power. We have triple branded fusion, two branded in red with two branded opening, two called by the grave, one cross out designator with one foolish barrel. We have two prosperity with one branded exile. We have triple frenzy with triple imperm, and one copy of Andy's emptiness here. Down here in the extra deck, we have two Drago Stapelia, two copies of Mirjade, one copy of Masquerade, two copies of Lubelia, one Guardian Chimera, two copies of the Stealth Gringa, one Rextrum with one copy of Kangrena. We have one Quadartus and two copies of Albion. Side deck here, we have, of course, Triple Draw and Lockbird, one Effect Veiler, one Ghost Bell, one Necro Banshee, two copies of Nibiru, two copies of Dark Ruler, two Lightning Storm. Uh, one zombie world and two copies of dimensional barrier here wrapping this up and be honest with you like I guess the the extra level of synergy that you get Because frenzy lets you fuse during the opponent's turn. So you'll your turn You're just gonna roll out, you know, mirror jade shenanigans and then on your opponent's turn You'll be like, oh hold up. Let me go ahead and you know make Thursday uh, Or excuse me Kingrina and then make the Rex drum So your opponent's just gonna stare at you and go what in the hell is going on? next up here is Sword Soul Combo Extension. Actually, this is kind of cool. So this is actually what Sword Soul kind of has developed into in the OCG right now. And remember, the OCG still has Protoss, and the OCG still has two Dang Long Dragon. Now, to be honest with you, um, if Dang Long does get the chance to come back here in the TCG, you'll probably see some sort of exploration of people out here kind of messing around with this engine in, you know, I guess Zephyra and Sword Soul. It is definitely a viable strategy, yes, but for longevity's sake, I don't know if it's going to be around for that long. But we have one Arch Nemesis Protoss, triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. We have two copies of Chi Wen, got to love level one tuners. We have one Distrudo, one Illegal Knight, two copies of Jet Synchron, triple copies of Olion, one copy of Noah Punk Dia Note. Triple copies of Foxy Tune, one copy of Ogre Dance, two copies of Xiamen, one copy of Tai, one Longyum, one Ara Ara, and one Ashuna. Then we have two Vishuda, one Griffin Rider, with one Water Enchantress, two copies of Call by the Grave, one Draco Back, two copies of Emergency Teleport, one Faithful Adventure, one Foolish Barrel, one Monster Reborn with one Rider from Easier. Then we have one Sword Soul Emergence, one Talents, and of course one Nine Pillars. We have one Monk, one Two Aurodon, one Hauk, one Cherubini with one Barricade Borg Blocker, one Access Machine, one Tomahawk, yeah, the fact they have this too. We also have one Yazi, one Ching Ying with one Chi Zhao, one Two Dang Long Dragon, one Xiao Fang, one Boxy with one Baron de Fluer. Side deck here we got Triple Ancia, Triple Droll, two Ghost Belt, Triple Maxi, Triple Imperm, and one copy of Red Reboot here. Wrapping up a very interesting list for you guys. And then last but not least here is an Orcist um, punk list. You gotta love all of these cool engines out uh, here that are trying out like the new DN note that are kind of maybe not having crazy success, but it is kind of cool to see like what ideas players are kind of spinning up here. So we have one copy of Armageddon Knight, triple copies of Ash Blossom, one Grisu, one copy of the Giz Mekarochi, triple Maxi, one Dino, two Foxy Tune with the one Ogre Dance, two Xiamen, one Brass Bombard, two copies of Symbol Skeleton, two copies of Harpoor, can't believe they got that back. We have two Orcus Nightmare with one World One, two Called by the Grape, one Cross Out Disney with two Etellies, one Foolish Barrel, triple copies of Forbidden Droplet, one Babel, two Orchestrated Return, one Rhoda, one Talents, one Imperm, one Crescendo, and one copy of Aranese Emptiness here. And down here in the extra deck, we have one Orcrustrion, one Long Risu, one Link Rebo, one Nightmare Unicorn, one IP, one Galtea, one Dehark, one Barricade Board Blocker, one Access Machine, one Number 90, one Number 38, one Sky Thunder, two Ding Risus, and one copy of Chaos Ruler here. Wrapping up, well, ladies and gentlemen, this chunk of OCG content for you guys. And like I said, there's a lot of interesting stuff kind of moving 
here in the OCG. And, you know, Power of the Elements will be coming out here in literally a couple of days. So you're going to see probably next week here some relatively interesting ideas pushing on out of that set. And I'm definitely excited to see what Exosisters will be able to pop up. So, guys, leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys smash the like crap out of that subscribe button. And I'll see your beautiful faces back later on the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons, thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.